Alrighty, what's going on, Raptors fans? It's your boy Demi, and I'm back with another video. How y'all man doing? And in today's video, we talking about if the Raptors really want to trade for Miles Turner, what can they do, or what will the Miles Turner trade even mean for the Raptors going into now and the future? So if y'all are new, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, please hit the comment section as we're on the road to 100 subscribers, and hit that like button so it does good in the YouTube algorithm. And let's get into my sauce for today. Miles Turner, a six foot ten, six foot eleven big man for the Indiana Pacers, has been almost one of the best players the Raptors have been looking for prior to now and the trade deadline as for last season with the Toronto Raptors. What it would take to get a trade done, honestly, you might have trade players like Malachi Flynn, OG Ananobi, Cam Birch, and some first round picks even get their deal done. But honestly, I think the Pacers are in rebuilding mode. But I think for the Pacers, I don't know why they signed Jalen Smith. I don't know why the Pacers would sign Jalen Smith if they plan to keep Miles Turner long term. I think if they traded players like Malcolm Brogdon, for example, I thought Miles Turner would be on the move, but that's not really the case. But we all know Miles Turner is a great stretch for and he's one of the league's black blockers, and having him in the Raptors roster would give us some good paint protection and stretch we would need, as we had that from the time he won the championship with Marc Gasol and Serge Ibaka, so it would be great for us to have. But for the Raptors, we all know that um they're not going to make a trade when it's right, and I think right now is the right time, but I think they're still waiting for the right time and need to even do this trade because Miles Turner... I think he's probably on a two or three year deal if I'm even watching this video, but I think for his talent and his presence in the NBA, it's going to be a lot to pursue him because every team has wanted a mile turner for teams like the Lakers, for teams like even you want to say the Hornets, there's many teams that need a center that can revamp their roster. So I think Miles Turner for the Raptors can do it because honestly, for Miles Turner, just look at what he's doing here. Miles Turner on the last season averages he's averaging 12.9 points, 7.1 rebounds on an assist per game and shooting a three ball at 33% on the efficiency field goal rating of 58.7. So Miles Turner he does everything for you. He can block shots, he can play defense, he can move with the length of the bigs, and he can play very good so all defensive Raptors need. And honestly, he's led the league in block for the last for a good two seasons out of his career. As the Raptors are wanting this on a good stance for their turn because the Raptors right now they lack a center position and if you can have probably him starting with the likes of Fed Van Vliet, Trent Jr., OG, Scotty Barnes, Pascal and him maybe I don't know this starting five for the Raptors is going to be a hard thing to even get by but I think for Miles Turner he's a very good big and a good rim protector in the league that the Raptors really want and contain the services of but for the Raptors it's going to take a lot for them to get it done but for Miles Turner, he'll be really welcome on the Raptors because he has great fan support and, and he has good teammates in Gary Trent Jr. and Fed Lee and others. And he can just fit very well with the Raptors roster and complement our whole roster. But I think our Miles Turner getting a trade done is going to be very hard to do because Miles Turner, we he wanted a Miles Turner for a long time, it's going to take the Raptors long to get a deal done. But for the Raptors, Masai Jerry and Masai Trust, I think he'll know when it's the right time to make the move. And for Miles Turner, he has no way he can do on off the court as a very blessed big to have on the court for now and how the game is played in the NBA. But Miles Turner, we all know he's a good player, and uh, I think he'll go to the right team whenever it's right. Even if the Raptors do make a move, I won't be mad if they do. They great. If they don't, that's fine. As the Raptors are still developing something special, and they want to keep all their pieces until a right trade piece is given at the right important time. So I think the Raptors, they have a lot of room to, to go. They have a lot of time to develop as a team. And I think the Raptors, they just don't want to do something that's broken, that's not the fix. So I think Miles Turner, though he had some injury history, and the Raptors can deal with that. As for, like, you had the best player in the NBA in Kawhi Leonard, and he dealt with his injury history. So I think Miles Turner, the Raptors can get that done, no problem. But I think for Miles Turner, we all know what he can do. He can shoot threes, he can play defense. Um... He's a great team player. He's a good role. He's a good role player. Start at the bench where you put him. And I'll start that floor off. He was in a given amount. And he's one with one of the best stretch picks in the NBA at further time. So honestly, I don't know where Miles Turner end up. Let's just my build and thoughts on why the Raptors should pursue Miles Turner. And just watch me how I came and see. Just imagine when the Raptors with our players. It'll be insane. But those are my thoughts on Miles Turner. If you are new, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. As around the road, subscribers. And you can help me hit that. Within the next month, I very much appreciate it. Boy, Demi, I'm signing out. If you all want more Raptors content, because it's the most underrated Raptors content ever, please hit that like button. If you have any video ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. And it's your boy, Demi, I'm signing out. Peace.